G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. This is where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm trialling the honeypot hive system. In the tropics with the local species Tetragonia Hocking's Eye. This episode, two weeks in. Well, it's the 16th of June 2016. It's been overcast this week. In fact, rain's forecast for today. Maximums have been around 28. Minimums around 18, give or take. Still, good conditions for an induction. How's the induction been going? Well, the only good news, or different news, it's all good news, I suppose, is that they have really taken ownership of this hive. Guards now really occupy this end, even on the coldest nights, they are still right up to this area here of the hive, guarding it. So the entry tunnel that I put in made a hell of a difference to the occupancy of this hive. Activities being good through the tunnels. I saw some interesting swarming behaviour, which may indicate a virgin queen's moved in and is occupying the brood chamber. But we'll have a look at a minute and see. Other news that came through, I received in the mail two brood chambers. Now, I mentioned before in earlier videos, I was a bit concerned about the size of the brood chamber. But this is for when the brood is successful or all the hive has been successfully inducted, educted, occupied. Whatever word you want to use. These will come into play when I do another series on the workings and management of a honey flow hive. Once this is established and we need to add extra space. But the extra brood boxes certainly for me fill out the hive a bit better and I'm more, what's the term, comfortable. I do thank the designer for sending them up. Okay, so what to expect? Well, remember, these are little bees. Don't expect like honeybees for them to suddenly fill everything and it's all done in two weeks. But I expect to see progress. I expect to see the tray at the top, the honey pot tray, worked more. I expect to see, if I can get in there, the brood chamber and see brood in there. Hopefully, they've got tunneling and I shouldn't be able to see down to the bottom. If I can see down the bottom, it might be a good sign. But overall, I expect to see more working. So it's a two-week report. I can't really expand upon anything else. But let's have a look. Well, it's not sticking as much this time. Put that down there. Oh, answer about. You don't have to worry about ants in this process. I've got ants out the front here. They always sticky beak and look for a weakness in the hive, but... They won't find any weakness in this hive. Out comes the front. There's no leakage and no gumming up of anything, so that's good. You've seen all this before. I've stored all the old trays here, so we'll rip them all out and have a look. Oh yes, they have worked it more. You can see more propolis or wax, whatever word you want to use. I'm not fussed on the correct terminology. Everybody knows what I mean, but you can definitely see workings there going on. Let's grab out the camera and see if I can show it to you. There we go. That's it. So you can see there that they've definitely worked it. Compare it to the previous video where I opened it up, and you can definitely see that there's more propolis has been laid. There's plenty of activity still at the front, so the bees still find this as home. Definitely more propolis laid around the edges. They are definitely filling that in. In fact, if you compare the colour to the white of a normal tray, and if I get it up there, see it there, the normal tray, the whiteness, they have really been working that tray and I've got a thin film virtually over everything. They've dulled it all up well and truly. All right, the other one's a poke on the inside, so. We 
Where's my torch? Oh, it's a bit overcast, so I'm getting a reflective light off the uh, cover, so I'm, I can't see too well inside there. But what I can tell you is I can't see down to the bottom. Excuse me while I see if I can... No, that's better. Just got to cover all that light coming in. Okay. There's, there's no brood in the centre of that propolis, or that uh, scaffolding, but I don't expect it to be yet. I'll probably work the edges. But I can see down to the bottom and there's definitely no tunnel going through that way, which is what I want. No tunnel upwards either. That's okay. They'll probably get closer to that when they build. So overall, let's put it together in a quick summary. <laughs> Two, three. I can hear a plane coming. Again, my timing is just impeccable. So, in summary, everything is going to plan. I don't expect the bees to instantly build, or could they build, honey pots overnight. But they are working it. Watch out, B. I don't want to squish you. There we go. So, overall, that was a lot easier to open and close too. So, obviously, the first couple of goes, it must be just to get the glue to set. So, overall, working the top tray. There's activity in the bottom. No sign of brood yet, but that's okay. I'll wait. Let's do another report in a week's time.